I want to talk about something kind of deep. It may step on your toes just a little bit, rattle your feathers or give you a black eye. However, your spirit man will thank me. Why? Because I'm talking about you. And the message today is simple. Are you taking for granted the grace of God? Are you taking for granted the grace of God? See, God has been giving you grace all through your life. Even when you were living for the devil, he decided not to sniff you out. He decided not to crush your life. In fact, the more you were stuck in the mud, he embraced you in so many ways. He could have easily threw you inside of Satan's mouth. And God decided to give you that life raft. God decided to change you up and brush you off and embrace you and love on you the more. When you didn't even deserve it. When I didn't even deserve it. Brothers and sisters, I tell you, it's only by God's miracle and his grace and his love for my life. I remember the things that I used to do. And how God still loved me in the midst. The word God talks about, even when we were once sinners, God still loved us. He still died for us. See, that, that's powerful love. He still had mercy and said, God, forgive them for they know not what they do. Brothers and sisters, today I want to talk about other things as well. I, I was really looking at something that touched my heart. And I want to ask you this question. And again, if this provokes you, good. Brothers and sisters, are you taking for granted God's grace? Do you realize that God notices when you don't read his word? I'm not just talking to you. Do you realize that God notices that you have more than one Bible in your house, but yet it's not only collecting dust, but you don't even look at it anymore. You, you, you just forgot that it was there or there or up there or down there. You treat it like in any old ordinary book and don't realize that there's so much light radiating in, out, and around it in the spiritual realm. You don't realize that there's people in different countries that are literally, Hashanda, I heard this uh, video, uh, I was listening to it. Y'all don't know how to praise. Y'all don't know how to worship in, 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 in the States. I tell you what, and I live in, I live in uh, America. And I tell you what, we, we, don't, we don't really know how to worship and praise. These people overseas will put you to shame. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I'm talking about y'all get, listen, people in America, we get hyped off for three hour sermons. Try 24-hour sermons, and they want more and more and more. They don't get enough. Why? Because a lot of them don't have Bibles. So the preacher is no, worded up. The preacher knows the word. So they, he's regurgitating the word of God to them. But they can't get enough because they're so fascinated. They, they, they're so spiritually alert and sensitive huh, to the word that they can't get enough. They're sponging it. And they also realize that their life is on the line. And if they get caught, that they're no longer, no longer uh, be able to hear the word of God, but they'll be killed. Are you ready to be killed, brothers and sisters? You know why I know you're not ready to see Christ? Y'all y'all so hyped up about the rapture. Y'all so hyped up about the second coming, right? Y'all so eager to go. Y'all so eager to go, but y'all not even ready. Why? Y'all can't even read... Why am I getting hype over here? Y'all can't even be disciplined on the little things. Y'all better take y'all's whooping. Huh? You are so consumed with work. You are so consumed with life. You are so consumed with porn. You are so consumed with drugs. You are so consumed with reality shows. You are so consumed with fighting with your neighbors and fighting with your family and being jealous and being all jacked up in your mind. But you call yourself a Christian, that's stinking thinking. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If the shoe fits, wear it. 
Y'all need this beaten. Y'all don't realize how good y'all got it. Y'all are literally taking God's grace for granted. And I'm not talking to every listener out there. You want to unsubscribe? Do it. I don't care. I'm serious about this. If Jesus Christ was to come back tonight, will you be ready to meet God? You can't even put your cell phone down for five minutes, let alone five days. And you talk about you want a You trying to meet God? You can't even stop living in sin, smoking crack, smoking weed, living in fornication. In adultery. Lying on your taxes, cheating on your neighbors. Trying to get somebody's cable for free. Hmm. Stuck on a two for one deal and it ain't even free. No way. What am I talking about? Are y'all listening? You got the get over, get rich quick schemes. You ready to murk somebody down the street for a dollar. And you talk about you want to meet Jesus. You better repent and stop playing. I'm serious about this, y'all. Y'all are not getting that we serve a holy God. And that by God's standards right now, if God was to check you out where you live, if God was about to come to your crib and knock on your door, huh? would you be ready? Would you really be ready? You better pray that God don't come tonight. You better pray that God don't come in five years because you got so much funk in your junk. And if you really revealed it to him, even though he already knows about it. Listen, y'all about to die with sins on your back that you ain't trying to tell nobody about right now. And you talk about you trying to meet Jesus. You better get that thing exposed, huh? Huh? You better get ready to tell somebody about those sins. I'm talking about those secret sins that you ain't trying to tell nobody about. Yeah, that. Listen, if you don't tell nobody about those secret sins, if those secret sins, listen, why do you think all, all of this stuff is coming out now in Holly Weird? Huh? God got so much mercy and grace on the wicked even. Hear me, hear me. Wasn't you wicked before you got saved? Wasn't I wicked before I got saved? All right, so stop, stop tripping on Holly Weird people. They weird. They weird. They, they're demonized. But guess what? God, if he wanted to save their souls and burn California down to the ground, he going to do it. You understand me? All of those people, and I'm not talking about all Puerto Ricans, don't even trip. Don't even trip. But a lot of those Puerto Ricans that was dealing in witchcraft and Santeria and all of that crazy crap and all of those people in other countries that was working with the witchcraft and working with the devil. And God and hurricaned you out. Huh? And earthquake you down. You better be happy he did that and you walked away. You better be happy he did that. And you still got your life. Because I tell you the truth. Once you get kicked in hell, ain't no exit, bruh. Ain't no exit for you. So you better thank God for God's grace. Oh, you want to meet God, right? You ready to get raptured up? Why? You can't even put your cell phone down for two weeks. You're so connected with the world that you don't even get it. You are a slave to this society. You are. Oh, yeah, you are. Listen, if I do a survey of this, 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 and that, that you're not ready to give up. You can't even, look, some of y'all can't even give up reality shows. Y'all secretly acting like y'all Christians, but y'all watching Empire. Do I watch Empire? You, the devil is a liar. What? This is sick. But you got, uh, listen, you keep it up. You keep it up, so-called Christians. You keep it up. You keep playing with God's mercy. You keep playing with God's grace. And you're going to see really what the wrath of God is all about. You better enjoy the wrath now. These little hurricanes and thunderstorms, you you, you losing your house, you losing your car. You lo- Listen, that could be replaced. That's That's nothing. That's nothing. You lo- Even if you get little scrapes and bruises, huh? But this is a hard message, y'all.
I'm keeping it all the way real because sometimes y'all need to hear a tough, hardcore message like this. You think this is tough? You know what my favorite video is of all time? The number one reason why people willfully sin. I don't care how many videos I made and I made over 200 videos. That is my favorite video of all times of all times. And it will always be my favorite video. You better check it out. The number one reason why people willfully sin, I talk about how God woke me up two o'clock in the morning and gave me a powerful revelatory uh, word, if you would, a word that's so hard hitting that it should shake you to the core. And sometimes we as children of God need that. We need some spanky butt sometimes. huh? Did I say spanky butt? Spanky butt. Oh, yeah. Spanky on the butt to wake you up. Y'all so used to these cotton candy preachers, man. Y'all better cut it out. Y'all so sugared up. Sugared up. <sighs> Y'all need some truth, some hardcore reality for your face. I'm telling you, people in hell that are burning, do you know how much regret they have? Do you realize... If they could just give away or, or if they would have just gave up so much of what they were so in love with in this world and so attached to. They they literally look at things as if that that's their God. <sighs> Brothers and sisters. Th I say this message with fear and trembling because I'm not only talking to you. I'm getting a spanking butt too. trust and believe. Huh? You don't think that God is dealing with me on certain things? Listen. We all need to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. And if it means that each and everything in your life, in your house, the things that you ingest spiritually and naturally, if it's not lining up, listen, we're talking about a holy God. And if you and I right this second, right now, carrying all and everything that we're carrying. Listen, we just yesterday, some of y'all been gossiping. Just last Tuesday, one of y'all was lusting. Just last Wednesday, y'all was listening to worldly music and doing a bang, bang, shaking down, bang, bang dance. Huh? Just last Thursday, somebody was caught in the bed with somebody else's man out there. Ooh, look at you. How did she know that? Uh-huh. And just last month, somebody got caught slipping, drinking, and clubbing just because they got an invite. And one of y'all out there also is going to some gay affairs or hanging out with a lot of, you know, homosexuals and stuff like that. I, I sense that. I'm not dealing with no divination either. I'm telling you the truth. Love from afar. Love from afar. If you're not winning them to Christ, you're enabling them. Okay. And you got to love what God loves and hate what God hates. And that means if you're hanging out with a bunch of homosexuals and lesbians, okay, especially if you single birds of a feather flock together. Huh? Huh? 